Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new video on WSM, your daily updates. But um, but I must announce that this will probably be probably be the last of these daily updates on WSM. I have covered it daily basically since the launch. Uh, but now, I mean, take a look at the price. It, it has barely moved since um, since Friday, which isn't that weird because usually in the weekends price barely moves. Um, but still, I mean, if, if there's nothing to to update you on daily, then I will not I, th then I will not make these updates. I mean, then it's just a waste of time for you, um, not necessarily for me, but but definitely for you. So we'll just do a full update in this video. Still, we'll talk a little bit about the potential of this week. Uh, yesterday, we touched upon the the scenario that WSM will will bring out some great news regarding a casino or something. There's been rumors about that, so that's a possibility. We'll talk about that and what that means, etc. There, there's no, I believe there's no, like there's no news on that right now. So that's also why the price isn't moving. We'll do a full technical analysis as well. Currently, WSM is kind of leaning on its listing price as support. So we'll talk about where it's likely that it's going to hold that and, and whether there's a possibility that just based on the technicals only that WSM will rally from here hopefully everything you need to know all right that's what we'll do so let's get right into it if we take a look at wsm right now in terms of perpetuals so trading on wsm you can see that volume is still historically low or historically low it's it's very low uh, open interest hasn't changed since yesterday is still pretty high so what that means just to just to remind you all is that right now there is not that much volume but there is a lot of dollars in open positions that can be closed that can be liquidated for example so movement uh, is guaranteed this week somewhere i would say at least all right because it, it, there's an open interest of about three million dollars that, that's quite a lot i mean if you compare that to the last two weeks that's um that's almost the highest it's been for like like the highest it's been is 4.4 so this is pretty high and that was thursday when they orchestrated that um um long squeeze wink uh but all right so there is a possibility of movement basically if we take a look at the technicals right now for wsm what you would say uh I hope, okay i just clicked <laughs> on something which made the whole screen black uh, but what you would say is that this is the the current situation all right that wsm is bearish you can also see that with the emas um but that it starts to get into some sort of a consolidating uh consolidating market structure which is true all right because the emas are less respected down here there is still bearish momentum, definitely, if you zoom out. Um, but there is a po there is possibility for a rally. But the thing is, is that I personally would say that the, the only thing you need to know regarding the technicals for WSM right now is that it's stuck between 3.6 cents and then 3.2 cents. All right. And, the mo and, and it's just waiting until one of those two levels is going to break. Now, since WSM does not look, uh, it, it doesn't look like WSM is reacting to the bullish momentum from Bitcoin. So I would say, and that's also what I said yesterday, that the most likely scenario is that it will drop down below 3.2 cents and drop down towards three and then 2.75 cents, the next major psychological support levels. So that's the most likely scenario in my eyes. But the thing is, is that a lot is possible from here. It's just the open interest is high, which means volatility is incoming. And if WSM, for example, brings out some great news, maybe regarding a casino they're bringing out, maybe not, then there's a great chance that WSM breaks above 3.6 cents, in which case it's uh, it will find resistance at 3.8. Take that bullish break retest. And if that holds, it can actually rally up to 4, 4.2, maybe even 4.4 again. Um, so both of these scenarios you need to know about because both of these scenarios are realistic. The thing though is, is that the bullish scenario in my eyes is, is only going to happen if they really release some, some big news. And if that doesn't happen, this just looks very bearish. All right. So I expect it to drop down. So that's, I think, all you need to know for now. I will cover it again once we get some volatility. Maybe that's tomorrow. We don't know. But for now, that's my full analysis on it. And don't tell me I'm just saying you it can go up or down because technically it's the truth. But I'm telling you that I think it's more, most likely that it will fall. But keep an eye on the news. All right. That's my take on it. I also have my own premium trading group slash signal group in which I share my own trades as signals. And you gain access to an amazing community full of traders. Sounds interesting. Links will be down in the description or the pinned comments. For now, have a great Monday. Take care and bye.